Can I help you, sir? <sighs> this is a sex shop, isn't it? Yes. I'll have five quid's worth then. <laughs> Very droll, sir. I've never heard that one before. Haven't you? Shall I tell it again? No, thank you, sir. I'd rather have a pineapple inserted violently into my rectum. You've been working here too long, mate. Can I help you, sir? No. Do you wish to purchase anything to assist you with your sex life? <laughs> what are you implying? That I'm some sort of sexual inadequate? I have a very full and rich and varied sex life. Thank you very much. I don't need anything from a shop like this. Would you get out then, sir? No. <laughs> Why not? It's a secret. <clears throat> we have two bottles of pheromone, please. Pardon? <laughs> two bottles of pheromone, please. Pheromones? Oh, yes, that's the sex spray for inadequate men who find it impossible to attract women. <laughs> Come on, yes. Isn't it, sir? Oh, I've got no idea. Not being a pervert, I'm not up on these things. Your sex spray, gentlemen. <gasps> I've got it. Fantastic. Give me mine. <laughs> Let's go. Uh, I mean, well, well done, doctor. I'm not a doctor. Shut up. <laughs> we are men of science. We live our lives on a higher plane than you do, Buster, where truth and purity and virginity are the only things we respect. That's right, Richie. Let's get back to the flat, bung a bit of this on, get down the pub and see if we can pick up some birds. Yeah! <laughs>